Hey guys, welcome to another Tech Guru video. Today we are in Adobe Photoshop CS5. I'm going to show you how to make 3D text within Photoshop. You do need to have Photoshop CS5 extended to be able to do this and use these features. So if you do have that, let's go ahead and uh, I will show you how to make some 3D text within Photoshop. First thing you need to do is open up a new project and go ahead and go up here and go to Layer, New, Layer. And then you can title that layer text. Uh, that kind of makes it pretty easy there for you. And go ahead and press OK. Once you've got your new text layer created, go ahead and put some text on that layer. So let's go ahead and type out some text here to uh, make 3D. So there we go. And then go ahead and select that text and go ahead and choose the font of your choice to go ahead and make it into 3D font. So go ahead and find you a good font that you like. And uh, let's go ahead and select one there. And then once you have that done and you got your text where you want it, go ahead and select that text layer. And then right here you will need to go to the 3D tab up here in the top right here, 3D. Select 3D and then go to Reposé right here and then it'll say text layer go ahead and click on text layer this little box right here will ask you this text layer must be rasterized before proceeding do you want to do that go ahead and select yes once you do that it may take a few seconds you'll see a little progress bar there and then this is where all of the 3d magic happens right here this box will open up and you can see here the text has already been converted into 3d so you can rotate it around here on the screen the way you want it to be so if you want it slanted or slanted down or slanted to the left or the right you can do that right here and Adobe has already thrown in some presets here for you to choose from so you can go through here like I'm doing and just select a few presets that you like I'm gonna go ahead and stick with the first one that we had there and then you can decide whether you want it to, to apply 3d on the front if you want it to bevel it the sides whatever you want to do and then also uh, pretty convenient is you can adjust the depth of the 3d all you have to do is slide the depth uh, bar here so you see that I did that just a little bit there and you can also adjust the scale now I wouldn't do this too much because if you get way up high on the scale it's gonna kinda make it real broad and it just looks kinda ridiculous so keep that scale down to kinda what it's set at in the beginning uh, and if you don't do that it will uh, what it'll do is it'll kinda bow out and it won't look as good um, so I normally keep the scale right at around 1.0 uh, because it just makes it uh, a little easier and it's, it looks better when you got it set it right at that. So once you have this done, what you do is uh, you can go back through and rotate it and get it set how you want it. Uh, and you can actually adjust the lighting, you can adjust the view angle right here, uh, the render settings and the mesh quality, as well as the different height and width of the bevel, and that's how much 3D or how much of the uh, backlit you see there. Uh, so you got all of these options and you can go through here and you can choose how you want it to be rotated. Uh, you can choose, uh, there's a whole lot of other advanced options as well that you can choose from. So anyways, that is how you create 3D text within Photoshop. Whenever you're done, you can go ahead and select the OK button there and your text is now 3D. And you can always go back within here in the uh, features tab here and adjust those if you would like. You can actually hide those and uh, it'll change the textures you can hide. Uh, and you can uh, go ahead and edit that however you want to. So if you've got any questions about how to do this, put them in the comment box below. Remember, you do need Photoshop CS5 extended, which is different than the original regular Photoshop CS5. Go ahead and put all your comments. Uh, concerns, remarks in the comment box below. Do not forget to subscribe and like. It really helps me out, and I will see you guys next time.